Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is August 24, 2023. This is a kickstart to your Forex trading day where I take a look uh, from a technical perspective at uh, three of the major currency pairs, including the euro versus US dollar, dollar versus yen, and the sterling versus US dollar. So let's get started. We will start at the euro versus uh, US dollar, and I'm looking at the hourly chart uh, to start off as well. And uh, what we can see in trading yesterday was a uh, sharp move to the downside that uh, approached the 200 day moving average. That's a green overlay line down here. You can barely see it, but it's, uh, it's it truly is there. You know, you can see it a little better. And then we saw a rotation uh, back to the upside that took the price way back up toward the 100 hour moving average. That's a blue, blue line in this chart. And, and, Above the closing level from the previous day, uh, where the uh, market uh, and the market settled about higher on the day, but below the 100-hour moving average in the early Asian session here today, the uh, price did move uh, briefly above the 100-hour moving average again, the blue line, and did it again uh, in the early maybe European session. Uh, and uh, but the uh, momentum to the upside could not uh, sus be sustained, and the price started to rotate back to the downside. And over the last Oh, uh, six or so hours. The price has been moving uh, steadily to the downside, falling to a new lo session lows after uh, data this morning. So initial cl jobless claims come in uh, much weaker than expected, 230 versus 240,000. The, the durable goods orders was admittedly uh, mixed uh, with transportation, certainly having a bigger impact, big impact on the numbers. That number can be uh, very uh, volatile. Nevertheless, uh, we are seeing yields move higher with the 10-year uh, yield now up about 3.7 basis points, and the two-year yield is up about 5.6 basis points. So that is contributing to the dollar's strength, and we're seeing the euro versus U.S. dollar trade below this swing area right here between 1.0833 and 1.0845. What's the significance of that? Well, I have to go to the four-hour chart to show you the significance of it. And if we look at that and look at this yellow area right through here, you can you can see how it was um, uh, initially a support here and then became resistance right here, uh, which uh, then moved to the downside here on the way back to the upside. We traded above and below it before rotating to the high. high. But here's where uh, the rubber reached the road, where the uh, price lows uh, came in all through here uh, over the these uh, weeks here, this one, two, or three different trading weeks, and then trading last week, the price came down to, to that area as well. So it's bearish below and uh, bullish above, uh, and uh, we are uh, in this uh, month of August. We have seen the price move above and below now, back below that area. So I'm going to I'm going to call that more bearish here, uh, but on the downside, we do have this 200-day uh, moving average, which comes into play uh, near the 1.0. Eight level, uh, which is a nice round number as well. So be aware of that. It was the uh, again the low yesterday. So that's the uh, look at the euro versus US dollar. Uh, watch 1.0833 to 1.0848 now as resistance, and look for the 200-day uh, moving average to at the 108 level to be um, a support uh, target on the downside. We'll see who wins that battle, but the sellers are taking more control. Let's take a look at the dollar versus yen, and uh, this uh, currency pair is also moving higher, helped by the higher rates uh, off of the data. And uh, as you can see, the price has moved back above the 100 and 200 hour moving averages. Uh, the price action, however, uh, is still uh, fairly uh, contained. I'm gonna put a red box uh, here that outlines uh, where most of the price action has occurred over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine or so trading days. Uh, on the top side, we have this uh, swing area, which uh, had a double top in trading last week or uh, just a few days ago, I should say, uh, between the 146.29 uh, and 146.40. That's going to be a target on the top side. Uh, this uh, level that we're at right now, near the 145.90, or we just moved up to, we're currently trading 144.582. That level is uh, also going to be a level that we need to you know, get to and through in the short term. When you have these uh, narrow-ish type trading ranges, you do, uh, with up and down uh, trading, you do tend to have a, a number of different uh, levels that come into play and uh, typically they're off of uh, maybe swing levels like a swing high here or a swing high here moved above it and then uh, lo and behold uh, move below it and then move above it and move below it and have a little thing thing majigger there and then um, stay below it here so 145.90 is sort of a level that um, you can see where it's been a reflection point or a deflection point uh, in the near term over this uh, trading range so we'll see how all that 
Uh, if we can get above that level, then we look toward this uh, 145.30 to 146.30 to 146.40 level. Uh, the high extreme price came at 146.55. So the story is in play. Uh, stay above the 100, 200 hour moving average is more bullish for the dollar versus yen. Finally, let's take a look at the sterling versus US dollar. And uh, like the euro versus US dollar had uh, volatile up and, or down and up trading session. Session, we moved up to the closing level from yesterday and then stalled. Uh, and in uh, the Asian session of trading here today, we continued that stall. Also stalling again uh, within the 200 and 100 hour moving averages was catch the lid on the pair. And we eventually moved to the downside in the European session and now down testing the 100 day moving average. Now yesterday we moved below that 100 day moving average, which was a break, but we uh, a break and we should have led to more bearish uh, sentiment, but we could not uh, get uh, below the uh, low price of, from last week and uh, the uh, price has started its rebound to, to the upside. You can see going back to this day right here, we also have uh, key, key support. So support, 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 all near the 126.15 level, which is in this within this swing area. So um, right now we're testing the 100-day moving average. If we get below that level, we still have work to do getting below the 126.15 level. And then this uh, swing area, what's the significance of the swing area? Again, I have to go to the four hour chart. If you look at the four hour chart and go back to this area through here, you can see that it uh, extends down to 125.90. So lots of lots of support down in this area right here where it's more bearish below and bullish above. And we'll see if the price first can uh, get, get below the 200 day, 100 day moving average. Uh, or do buyers come in against this level ahead of the lows right here and uh, push the price back up to this uh, swing area up here between the 126.78 and 126.98 level. That's the story today for the pound versus us dollar and that's a story today for the euro the euro versus us dollar dollar versus yen and the pound versus us dollar my name is greg michaeloski good fortune with your trading bye bye now